श्री भगवान उवाच मयी आवेश मनो ये माम नित्य युक्त उपासते श्रद्धया परयुपेतास्ते मे युक्त तमामता हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी सेकंड श्लोक ऑफ दी ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर ऑफ गीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गो इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज श्री भगवान उवाच विच मीन्स श्री कृष्णा सेड मयी आवेश मनो ये विच मीन्स देअर माइंड एब्जॉर्ब्ड इन मी माम नित्य युक्त उपासते विच मीन्स हु वर्शिप मी वाइल कॉन्स्टेंटली ज्वाइंड श्रद्धया परियोपेतास्ते विच मीन्स दे अप्रोच बाय सुप्रीम रेवरेंस मे युक्त तमा मता विच मीन्स योगीज ऑफ माय हाइएस्ट ओपिनियन सो एज एन आंसर टू अर्जुन्स क्वेश्चन श्री कृष्णा इज फर्स्ट कन्फर्मिंग दैट इंडीड those who in devotion worship me constantly are the yogis who are the highest in my opinion so shri krishna is confirming to arjun that devotion is indeed the best way to attain me so in the subsequent shlokas of this chapter shri krishna will clarify how the path of devotion is the best however you must note that the devotion that shri krishna is going to talk about over here is not the superficial faith that uh, most people display the faith that shri krishna is going to talk about is complete submission to the will of the lord and that is a faith which is very very difficult to attain what you see around you people who show their faith is not really that deep of a faith most people don't really have that that much depth superficial faith is actually a very dangerous faith wherein it makes the devotee very dogmatic and that is what we see in most people that people become dogmatic in their faith so that's not the type of faith that shri krishna is talking about over here the faith that shri krishna is talking about here is that faith wherein a person has complete submission towards the will of the lord so you will see a lot of devotees who call themselves to be devotees but their action is not uh, consistent with their complete submission to the will of the lord you can clearly see that they have not really surrendered their will to the will of the lord so as an example if you are a type of a person who get offended when someone makes fun of your uh, deity then you lie in this category of people whose faith is actually very superficial such an offense is only felt by a person who has not uh, who has not really understood the power of the lord and he thinks that he has to act on behalf of his lord so you know when someone makes fun of his lord he gets offended and he does not have the faith in the power of the lord if he really had the faith in the power of the lord he will not feel offended you know he will know that uh, the lord is ex- all powerful he can take care of himself if someone makes fun of him he will take care of himself the lord doesn't really need any defense but such fools they uh, are not able to realize that and they get offended uh, when someone makes fun of their lord and uh, they start acting on behalf of behalf of their lord as if the lord is powerless and they have to act on behalf of him so that is not the kind of devotion that shri krishna is talking about over here such kind of devotees actually bring a very bad name for the for uh, devotion in itself and that is the reason why the term uh, bhakt has now become a negative connotation also has been joined to that in the political discourse because such fools they bring a very bad name to bhakt so uh, when a person is uh, a devotee of the lord he has to completely surrender to the will of the lord he has to see that whatever is act- happening over here is happening by the will of the lord and they submit to that will and then they look for guidance from the lord and when the lord gives them guidance then they act with that guidance they don't act by themselves but uh, what you see around you as devotees who are superficial devotees they don't believe in the power of the lord and they think that they have to act from their will to save their lord that is that is not bhakti that is superficial devotion so uh, more will be clarified on this subject in this chapter 
as Sri Krishna will uh, continue to uh, describe that. But uh, the idea over here was uh, that indeed Sri Krishna is confirming that the path of devotion is the one which brings him brings a person closer to the Lord. So I hope that I have explained this shlok well to you. With that, I will close this video. I will see you in the next video. Take care.